there's a new OCR, Hun Yuan OCR from Tencent Hun Yu, and this OCR claims to have the highest performance on the Omni Doc Bench benchmark for parsing documents. So this model claims 94.10 as a score over here, much better than DeepSeq OCR, OLM OCR, Gemini 2.5 Pro, Dots OCR, Quen 3VL, 235 billion instruct parameter model, Paddle OCR VL. So this model claims to be the highest scorer on this Omni Doc bench. So we can try out this OCR model. This model is 1 billion parameters. It's been released on Hugging Face. So what I did was I tested this particular model on my suit of test images for OCR performance to see how it performs. So let's go to our collab notebook. So this is my collab notebook over here. So I have already tested it on a couple of images, right? So what you need to do is that you need to install this particular branch of Hugging Face Transformers. So they have given this in their instructions over here on how to install uh, you know this particular branch of transformers and then how you can get started with model inference using transformers library so that is what i'm going to do over here so then what you need to do is that from transformers you import auto processors and you import hun yuan vl for conditional generation right you import image from pil import torch and here you are actually you need to specify the model as tencent hun yuan ocr and you specify your image path create this chat template and then you apply this chat template over here on your messages which has been created over here and you load the model and you do inference over here so the very first image which i tested was this particular image so this is a tabular image alphabet basically this is the uh, quarter results a tabular image and for this image this was the output which was generated in markdown so basically you have this prompt over here which says extract all information from the main body of the document image and present it in markdown format ignoring ignoring headers and footers table should be expressed in html format formulas in the document should be represented using latex format and the parsing should be organized according to the reading order so if you put this prompt you get this markdown output and when that markdown is rendered over here has done an excellent job for this particular image if you see over here you have the values over here okay uh, 450 256 475 374 you have that value over here all the values have been captured properly over here in this document and this document is parsed quite well over here without any errors so the next image which i tested was this particular image okay this is handwritten data again the image is in a different orientation so some important integration formula or formulae that is what is present over here right uh, so if you look at the memory consumption of this particular model this model is actually you know a 1 billion parameter model right so let's go over here and look at the memory consumption um, so on the gpu ram once i did close to you know 14 images basically uh, the gpu ram consumption is close to 14 gb but when the model was initially loaded it is just uh, you know you are uh, 2 gb or whatever right so initial is around that uh, this thing it's 1 billion parameter model so initially it was close to 4 gb or something over here in uh, gpu ram and as i am doing more and more inference you know the gpu ram consumption is increasing over here basically after every inference i should uh, you know empty or i should clean up the gpu ram okay now let's go to the results over here for this particular image so this is a handwritten document so if you look at over here this was the markdown which was generated over here okay uh, so some important see this integration it is saying as intergrad formulas but if you look at some of the formulas like int dx integration of dx is equal to x plus c which is the first formula over here integration of dx is equal to x plus c so some of the results it is done quite well over here in rendering it over here okay so if you look at uh, one more formula over here where we look at you know uh, secant uh, you know see uh, secant square of x dx integration of that let's look at where that is that you have cos of uh, this thing over here here you have uh, tan right secant square x dx is equal to tan x plus c uh, let's go to our formulas over here and let's check it out okay so here you have tan x plus c so it has done a good job of this document even if this document is inverted it has handwritten formulas okay now the next example is this particular vector calculus this is again a handwritten document over here 
So if you look at over here, you have let a, uh, you know, vector a is equal to a1 i hat over here plus a2 j hat. I saw an error over here, okay, where it's it missed out on that i hat over here, and it says a2 of hat i, which is hat j over here. So some small errors are present in this particular rendering, but it's actually captured a lot of things properly over here. Again, handwritten data. Uh, it's captured all the notations and other things properly over here. Yes, there are some errors over here. Okay. So the next image which I tried was this. This, it was running for close to four or five minutes and it did not give me any results. So I just, uh, you know, kind of stopped it, stopped uh, getting the results for this image. This is a slightly bigger image. It's got a lot of text. I think it ran into some kind of an error over here. The next image which I gave was this one. Okay, if you look at it, you have India celebrates freedom, uh, consembly takes over governance, historic midnight section and something over here. Now let's see what is the text which has been rendered. It says India celebrates freedom, consembly takes over government, historic midnight session, Mountbatten asks to be relieved in April. So it has actually captured all these big, um, you know, highlights over here. But the rest of the text is not legible over here. I have seen some OCR models really hallucinating on the rest of the text over here. But this is quite good. It is not doing any hallucination. It is actually able to just capture what is present over here, which is readable. And it has actually shown the uh, extracted that text properly. Okay. So the next image which I tested is this. This is a simple handwritten uh, text. Okay. And if you rec uh, look at over here, this is actually Motilal Nehru Committee. There is an error which I've seen over here. It says Motifal Nehru Committee. So with handwritten data you could get errors with this particular OCR model it is good but there are errors which are possible as with any other OCR model okay but errors are possible over here with this particular model otherwise it has done you know, proper extraction of all the handwritten text of this particular image the last image which I wanted to test out was this this has a lot of graphics over here basically graphs right uh, so here it is HbA1c reduction even though it's not very legible, I've seen some models like Chandra OCR or say Olm OCR do very, do very good on these kind of images. But here there are errors which comes up like this. You see over here AAC reduction, right? So some kind of errors are possible with this particular model. It has done, it has extracted things from the graph over here, but you know, from the bar graph, but there are errors which are present. But otherwise it's doing the reading order and other things properly over here in this image. It's pulling this also low risk factors. Let's look at that part. Okay, 5% pancreatitis, yeah, low risk, uh, low blood sugar, low risk factors, hypoglycemia. So it is actually pulling all those things properly, except that it's gone, uh, you know, it's makes some mistakes over here in this part of the text. Yes, it is difficult to read over here, even for us humans. But I've seen OM OCR, uh, basically uh, OLM OCR 2, as well as your uh, uh, paddle OCR VL, or say uh, the latest other OCR is Chandra OCR. They do a slightly better job with this particular image so i find this ocr on par with other ocrs like olm ocr2 or say your olm ocr uh, what do you call your uh, you have your deep seek ocr so i find this model to be on par with other more uh, models even though they claim a really high percentage over here on my limited testing uh, this is a very good ocr model so you can test it and see on your documents to see whether it is really useful for you this has a specific license over here, a license document, right? When I checked it out. Uh, so what they say is that this license does not apply in European Union, United Kingdom and South Korea. And it is explicitly limited to the territory as defined below. Okay. And what they're saying over here is that if you are, uh, you know, if you are having monthly more than 100 million users, then you need to get a special licensee, right? Uh, the monthly active users of all products or service made available for raise is greater than this thing. 100 million then you need to write to them to get a special license that's what uh, you know a month you are you you have to request a specific license otherwise this is a community 10 cent community license it's not an apache 2.0 license so if you are using it for commercial purposes do check out the license with the legal team to understand more about you know what are the limitations of this particular license so this is their github repository uh, you know you can uh, inference it with vllm as well where they hear they talk about that this model supports for over 100 languages excelling in both single language and mixed language scenarios across various document types right uh, this is a single model covering classic ocr tasks including text detection recognition complex document parsing and open field information extraction 
video subtitle extraction while supporting end to end photo translation and document question answering it's a model with 1 billion parameters so here they have put the gpu requirements also so if you are using vllm then you would require 20 gp of gpu memory uh, it supports nvidia gpu with cuda support and the libraries and other things are present over here so this is a very good ocr model which you can test and see if it is useful for your documents hope this video is useful see you in another video